In this video I will show you how we can make thumbnails for YouTube videos using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Drew here with another video and as you can see this is the final output. This is what we will create. So to do that, first of all let's go to file menu and I will go and create a new document. And in the document your uh, width should be 1920. Uh, and your height should be 1080. It is standard HD and resolution 100 is more than enough. So simply go and hit OK. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Now if you want to use simple color for your background, uh, you can go here on your adjustment layers and select a solid color. And here you can pick any color do you like, uh, simply just like that and hit OK. So that is one option. But if you want to use custom texture, uh, you can go to your browser here uh, and type, uh, let's say we need a paper texture. So type paper texture and images will show up. So go to your images so you can see all of them. Uh, and for from all this texture, I found this one to be very good. And download link for this texture is in the description just in case if you need. So once you find the texture do you need, you go and click on view image. So it will open the actual size of the image. Then right click here and select save image as. Uh, so it will open the dialog box and you can simply go and save the image. I already have so I'm not gonna do that. So once your image is saved, go back to your Photoshop, uh, go to file menu here and then go to place. Now go and find this image from your computer and go and simply place it. Now we need to make this bigger so it covers the entire background. To do that you can drag it from the corner but make sure when you do this you hold your shift key so it stays in the proportion. Uh, if you don't hold your shift key it will go like wobbly like this. It doesn't look that good. So hold your shift key and make it bigger like this. So I think this portion looks good and then you can go and confirm it. Now the background is ready and it's time to add in some text. So to do that you can go and click on your type menu, uh, type tool here uh, and then create a new blank layer from the second last icon and you simply go and do a click. Now I'm gonna type anything. Now I want to change the font style and the color of it. So once you, this is active uh, and if it doesn't look like this uh, and if your looks something like this, just simply double click on your this thumbnail here and it will select everything. And now you can go and change the font to anything you want. So I'm going to use the font Bearpo and the download link for this font is in video description. So feel free to use. Uh, so I'm going to go and change it to that. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna move it a little bit here. Now the yellow color is not looking very good. So to change that I'm gonna double click here again on my this T little box here and then I will go and simply select the random. Uh, then I will go and change it to let's say red. Uh, so that looks good. Uh, hit OK. Then I will go and select my thumbnail. Now this looks good but we can also add some effects so it will stand out better from the background. So to do that you double click on your layer. Not on the, this little box but here on your layer. You double click there and it, this box will pop up and there you have really good options. So my favorite one is adding in the stroke. Now don't go overboard okay this, this doesn't look good so keep, try to keep it minimum. Uh, so I think 5-6 looks good. And you can also add a little bit of shadow here. Do you see this drop shadow option? And to activate this option, you have to click here. Uh, so when this is blue, this options will pop up. And let me put it here. Uh, now you can add a little bit of size so it stands out even better. Uh, and then go and simply hit OK. So now our background is done, our text is done. And now it's time to add in some image so it looks better. So to do that, uh, you can again go to your browser. Uh, and this time I'm gonna go back and type in whatever. So let's see if you want to add a meme. So I'm gonna go type uh, rainbow meme and after that at the end you have to type in PNG and then search in Google. So because we typed the PNG when you click here as you can see it has this checkered background that means it is transparent you don't have to cut it from the background. So once this is on you can go and click on view image right click and save image as. 
but when you save it always make sure that you have PNG here and then you can go and save the image perfect now we can go back to our Photoshop here now go to file uh, and where is it go to place and find in your PNG file and simply go and place it so as you can see the it is here and as always I will hold my shift key and I will drag it from the corner and just in case if you want to rotate it somewhere you can like rotate it from these corners like this it's super easy so that looks good now I want to flip it so I'm gonna right click and select flip horizontal uh, and go and confirm it and let's say you want to bring back your transform options you can simply go and press ctrl T and your options will be back and you can do whatever the heck you want so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger uh, like that uh, or maybe slightly smaller uh, so that's perfect and I'm gonna go and confirm it now this looks good but I don't want this computer here so I'm gonna go and select my eraser but when you will try to use eraser it will it won't allow you to do it so the solution for that is you right click on your layer and you select rasterize now you can easily use eraser here and you can remove that computer part because I don't want that I just want the guy now how to add the stroke on the border outline your thumbnail so it looks good so to do that you have this uh, square selection tool which is also known as marquee tool the square one select that and then you can you go and create a new blank layer from the second last icon at the top of everything then go and make a selection just like that then you go right click and then you select stroke now for the color I want a little bit bluish that goes with that font as well so a little bit brighter blue looks good hit ok and here the bigger the number the bigger your stroke will be so 15 looks good and simply hit ok so as you can see now we have the stroke and you can now go to select menu and deselect so the selection goes away so it's the final output and this way you can make custom thumbnails using Photoshop and before we go I want to show you different outputs so let's look at this one as you can see it's the same image and same text but I used different fonts and background so the font here is Beba Zenu and yes the download link for this font is also in description and the same meme and for the background yes uh, you can search uh, black grunge background and uh, you can find this on Google and the direct link for this background is in description so this is one example and let's look at the last one so as you can see here so I added the stroke uh, but instead of using texture I used a photo just like most of youtubers do and for this gradient effect so let me show you how I did that let's go and delete that so you have this font here so you double click and here you have option for gradient overlay so let me put it here so you can see now in the gradient overlay uh, you go here and you select this gradient uh, this one is my favorite you can try different ones but this is good you hit ok and then you add a little bit of stroke uh, here not too big so I think that looks good and then drop shadow uh, a little bit uh, so yeah that looks good and simply hit ok and the same way I made the border and you have a custom thumbnail so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below so till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.